Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic World the game. <gasps> I know it has been absolutely years since we've recorded this. Can you believe back in 2015 there wasn't a day that went by without Jurassic World the game. In fact, there was like three videos a day for a while on Jurassic World the game. Flash forward. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 20, <gasps> seven years, seven years, <laughs> and we went almost a week without a single Jurassic World the game, but can you build, is there any game, can you think of any game you played for seven years? I can, it's this one, wow. I mean, it's a testament to the to app games and mobile games and, and where games are right now is that there was a time when you'd play a game for a, a week or even a month or a couple of months and then that would be it, you'd be done. But now we live in this world where we've got so many like updates and microtransactions and new things that come out that keep people playing this game. And we will get into it because, we, of course, we've got the new tournament. Um, hopefully, I've done something cool, like sneaky with the thumbnail. I said, cool, it's sneaky. Because uh, I think somebody had already... Uh, yesterday, I, I was on Facebook. I know, right? <laughs> Boomer. Uh, I was on Facebook. And somebody posted, um, like, the, the new creature. What is it? This one. The... Fath Wait, what is it? We, we do have it here. The Thalassodromius. Um, and uh, they had it like maxed up to level 40. I was like, wait, wait, what? Obviously they hacked the game. And I was like, oh, sweet. Right, we'll just put that in the thumbnail. <laughs> so thank you, anonymous hacker. Um, so we're gonna, uh, you know, max that tournament and stuff. But at the same time, uh, you know, it's just about the game. It's a podcast. I, I see it. You, you comment it all the time. It's like, hey, welcome to episode 2200 of the Game and Beaver podcast with just about the game. In the background, kind of. Um, so I deliberately haven't uh, done anything in the game at the moment because I went on last night and I was like, oh, well, if I if I end up collecting everything, then there's nothing in the game to do <laughs> except for do the battles. So we're going to collect all of this stuff. Um, I haven't actually used the, um, the instant hatches and I probably should have, um, but it got to the point where I was thinking like every week, oh, what's this for box? Oh, hell yeah. Um, every week there was a new creature put out and I needed to max that up. So I was like, wait, if I do my instant hatches, how are we gonna do this? But I think going forward, um, there will be more content in Jurassic World the game. I've just been preoccupied with a lot of Dominion stuff that's came out. There's a lot of unboxings. Um, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> there's a lot, I say, there's a lot of unboxings, that's it. But saying that, um, if you go back and you have a look at my, you know, my first ever unboxings on the channel, we're talking like 2015, uh, when Jurassic World the game, you know, well, Jurassic World came out and we were doing all the Hasbro toys. Um, I think I recorded, edited, and had the video done in a day. It was, it was lit. I had, I had the, had the video done in a day, and it was, I could do something else as well. I could, I could, you know, work on something else. Whereas now. Uh, you know, I'll try my best to, you know, record multiple videos or like unboxings in a day. But really, I only have time uh, because now I've got Whitney doing the second camera, uh, which I think you'll all agree is makes the unboxings a lot better because you can get different views and something to work off. And we have, some, you know, we have, we have some good chemistry uh, back and forth. Um, but Whitney, you know, she works, so I can only do it when she's, you know, at home. Which she doesn't. She's, you know, she works. Goes out of work and all that jazz. Um, and then editing has changed completely uh, for the better. I think you'll agree. Where you know, I spend a lot of time adding, adding, adding sounds, <laughs> adding music, um, and all that jazz, just to really, you know, make the game, make the videos more entertaining. Um, and I noticed that, or at least I think a lot of people enjoy it because they do comment saying, or you guys comment saying about. Um, Oh, another unboxing video. Can't wait for the chaos that ensues sort of thing. Uh, which it does, more more than not. Uh, we'll just get rid of that, 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 that. Uh, we got another one. Oh no, this is the last one. Oh, you know what, three million food for 500 VIP points, why not? Um, and a John Hammond statue for some food. I guess, why not, I suppose. I think we've got an Indoraptor that needs feeding, unless I did it in the last video. Oh, no, it was a level 10, that's right. 
Um, oh, oh, look at that. We could claim some community prizes, I suppose. Also, leave in the comments down below uh, which kind of dinosaur we should work towards. Um, because I'm at the point where I've got a lot of stuff. I've got a lot of DNA. A lot of super DNA as well um, that I need to just put towards something. And, you know, like I said, I, we're moving forward, I want to do more Jurassic World the game. Because we've got a lot of stuff. We've got a lot of resources. We've got a lot of DNA. Uh, special super DNA that we could probably plow into seeing some max level creatures and just you know having more fun with the game instead of using same old same old saying that let's do same old same old but no we'll start actually with the battle stage infinite why uh this one's really tough because it actually has an amphibian not only does it have an amphibian but it has like 7,000 attack and as you can see one two three four four of the dinosaurs there are carnivores uh we do have metrophodon um which I guess isn't so bad. It still dies in two hits from everything, but it may make them waste a turn swapping out. Now, I think I've done this before and they didn't waste a turn swapping out, which I was a bit worried about, <laughs> but hopefully we'll be good. Now, really, it's, it's power up. I think we could, we may be able to go for a solid armor, armor matter and Indoraptor. Um, I think that's like two hits from this kills Pyroraptor. It kills possibly Tapajalosaurus. It might not. And it So three hits to kill Gripo and Tappy, but two hits to kill Pyro. Now if we use Udon, it's possibly uh, th it's three hits probably for Gripo and Tappo, but also three hits for Pyro. So I think it's better to go for Indoraptor. So let let's just jump in. Fingers crossed. We obviously go first and we'll need to block. Um, now, like I said, the reason why we're doing this pack is because it gives us bugs. And that's what we need in this game, is a lot of buggeroos. So now I'm I'm in a tough situation here. Um, if he... I have to block for two. Sweet, so we lost that one. So <laughs> GG. Uh, <laughs> God damn it. So we do have three instant recoveries, so I may as well use them because I never use instant recoveries. So we'll we'll do that again. Now, the reason why I lost that one was because he would have went for his four attack. And Armamata would have had three, and then I would have had to have gone for three to kill it, then Tapajalasaur would have came in and then swapped to Pyraptor and then went for two hits and killed me, and then I would be on the yeah, edge. It, it wasn't a good time. Um, the thing is, you, you have to block for one, just because if it decides to randomly go for two, we're good. Now, if it doesn't do anything here, like it hasn't done this time, I may as well go for two reserves. So, what's really good about this is even if we die, it has to go for two, we're gonna have five next turn. And what's brilliant is, yeah, yeah, okay, now we're in good stead. I didn't want to waste your time. I don't want to waste my time <laughs> with losing uh, to that one, because that was awful. Uh, so, fantastic! We scored some free bucks. Brilliant. So, that's pretty much just one. If we lose now, something is the matter. Uh, something is armor matter. Hey! <laughs> What's armor matter, yo? Tappy! Little tippy tappies. Okay. So, yeah, I think we've done this one. This Was this our Mosasaur Gen 2? I get the feeling this was Mosasaur. Yeah, Armor Matter. Was it really? It must have been. Um, you know what? I'm just going to do that. I'm just going to go for that. It doesn't matter. Uh, we pretty much killed... Oh, my God. Oh, my arms. Oh, I did too much at the gym yesterday. <laughs> Humble brag. I went to the gym. <laughs> I don't normally go to the gym. I do workouts at home, but I got some friends that go to the gym. We go, like, once a week. Because <laughs> that's like, the only time one of our friends can do it. So... When we do go to the gym, he's determined to work out as much as possible, which is not good if you're used to it like a routine and a gym routine where you're not, or like a workout routine, where you're not supposed to do that. You know, you, you work separate parts of your body, you know, all, I'm not gonna get into exercise and stuff like that. Either, what I'm trying to say is, you're not supposed to wreck yourself in for one day. The thing is, he doesn't do any like exercise for the rest of the week. So he's like, yeah, well, I've done it. And then we're, I'm left for like, Right, how am I going to work out today? <laughs> but hey-ho. Actually, the first time that I've done this, read it, uh, aged. And that's good! We got another common pack next time. So it's 53 bucks. Now, it didn't cost us anything to enter, so we're 50 bucks up. Um, we do have a VIP exclusive event, however. Uh, there's, like, that's the thing. If I see a pack, right? Even though I'm VIP, I very rarely, if ever, do 
these packs. Because they cost VIP points, which I'm not too fussed about, the enemies are pretty tough. And what, I'm gonna get DNA, coins or food? You know, DNA maybe, but there's a 10% chance I'll get DNA. 10%, 80% chance I'll get food, 80% chance I'll get coin, and then 100% chance I'll probably get some of uh, a decoration. Oh no, 40% chance of that. Okay, so it's not so bad, I suppose. You got a high chance of getting DNA, but... Uh, <laughs> Is there any need? Uh, we've also got this, the micro SDNA pack, which I think gives us 20 of all that, which isn't so bad. But again, we're talking top level creatures, which it's, and you've got to do three of those battles, and it is just kind of crazy. Um, I know that Ludia keeps sending me the, um, the roster or the information of what dinosaurs are coming up. Um, but, I mean, I, I get, you know, a 50, gar a 50 guaranteed, you know, what? let's do, you, you know, we don't need Hatsugoptrix, really. But the fact is, I am just so high level, I'm <laughs> so pro, that it, does it make a difference if I, I mean, I think these are only coin to enter, right? I didn't check that. Hopefully they are. I'm going to go for one block here just in case, um, because I realize I can die in three hits. So, hopefully, it goes to three attacks now with my one block, meaning it only hits me with two. And, well, okay, fine, 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 fine. Uh, I only, if he blocks for two, we're good, I think. If he blocks for none, we're golden. Yes. So, oh my god, just so good at this game. <laughs> it's been ages that, since I've recorded this, I'm just checking, like, are we, yes, yes, we're all recording. Good, good. Uh, so, two amphibians now. Just, yeah, a better level 10. Level 10s, I guess? And I just go for loads of reserves until we do this. And then we'll crack on with the fallow And the thing is, we are recording this around about, like, I think it was 2 o'clock. 3, 4, 5. So 3 hours. Um, hmm. Yeah, so I'll just go for 3 reserves. I could have killed them there, but nah. Um, yeah, 3 hours after the tournament's went live. So it should be a quick one. In theory, it should be a quick one. Because the longer the tournament goes on for, uh, the harder it gets. Now, I don't know what Quetz's attack is. Again, love the new animation. Yeah, I was thinking, uh, I don't know whether we had more. I could have checked that beforehand. But it doesn't even matter. It doesn't matter because it's just going to give it to us. Yeah, sweet. Oh. Oh, it's good. It's good to be back. So today, or tonight, we've got two videos. Um, one will be this one, of course, because you're watching it. And then the next one, I think, is... Is it, is it what I'm thinking of? Yes, it's an unboxing video, I think. Because I've just done a different video. And yeah. <laughs> we should be good. Should be good. Um, oh, really? Oh, now that you've definitely lost, you're not happy. Okay, I see how it is. I really didn't need all these high-level creatures. I don't know why I put them in. <laughs> Again, do we need to concentrate when we've got dinosaurs this high level? <gasps> Not really. We're good. Oh, yes. Beautiful, beautiful. So what have I been up to recently? What What have I done? Davis, what have you done? The whole world wants to know, of course. We went to see Sonic the Hedgehog 2. Friggin' 2. I love that film. I love the Sonic films, man. They're awesome. I don't care. <laughs> They're not cinematic masterpieces, but you know, if you can get elicit a laugh out of me, and it, it's fun, it takes new locations. I'm not like not every movie I'm looking at needs to be. Oh, the cinematography there is beautiful. It really speaks to the characters' emotions, and I love the 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 blend between diegetic and non-diegetic sound and all this. I don't need that every film. Sometimes I just want a film I can turn my brain off, which so happens to be most of the Jurassic Parks or Jurassic Worlds, I should say, the new ones. Uh, definitely. Uh, yeah, we don't need to worry about this. Just put them in whatever's. Oh, we don't want to kill it in one hit. Ooh, well that's a bit annoying, but nothing we can't deal with. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love that film. It was awesome. And it was funny because I, I recently saw, um, oh, balls. <laughs> ah, we won anyway. I recently saw the new Harry Potter film, uh, The Lies of Dumbledore, Secrets of Dumbledore, whatever it was, I think it was Secrets. Uh, <laughs> like Lies of Dumbledore. Um, and I don't know, man. Like, I, I much preferred Son of the Hedgehog 2, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> it just takes itself too seriously. And it's, uh, 
I, I and the thing is that Whitney b went with me to see both of them, and even she preferred Son of the Hedgehog to something. Just, just cause, cause it just it was a fun romp around, and it just had fun with itself, and there were some jokes, and it was I don't know, it was it was, gen like generally it was just a funner movie, <laughs> and there were some things I could forgive. That, you know, it was very obvious. Oh, well, what, you know, it's a kid's film. And I could have very lost there. Ooh, very easily lost there. Oh, dear, that's a shame. Oh, oh, good job I did it. Because <laughs> I'm just so pro. Give me me 50 bucks. Yes. That's what it's all about. It's about getting the little scraps. As well as some VIP points, which we can't st shake a stick at. As well as that for free. Now, finally, God, God. Okay, let's get this done. <laughs> Bleh. Oh, the Edaphosaurus. I completely forgot about this. Was this the most recent video? No, it was Ophthalmosaur, I think. Or was it? It might have been Edaphosaur. And this is the first Jurassic World the Game video this week, I'm pretty sure. Oh, yes. What, like, this, this battle right here is one of the most annoying. Because the strategy I employ is, of course, two commons. A sandwich, or like one really good one sandwich between two commons. However... Normally, I die instantly because I go for one reserve and they can definitely kill me in two. But when the PC or AI also has two commons, they decide to switch out and block and do all this thing and it just makes it way longer. But I think the last uh, tournament we did or they, they had out, um, it was way quicker. Which is really nice. I think they started with like really hard dinosaurs. Or maybe it was an aquatic tournament. That's right. I think maybe that was a VIP tournament I did. Didn't record that one. Because I was just like doing the rounds. Now the, the rounds are way, way freaking longer. Like this is this is something I, 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 I've called stuff I do before bed. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to do the rounds. So I'll just lie in bed. And I'll get like the daily rewards pack from Jurassic World the game. I'll make sure I get all the missions from... Uh, Jurassic World Alive, so I get the, um, you know, try to refill the incubators if I can be bothered. Sometimes, man, I, I lose like eight or nine battles in a row and I'm just like, oh, just get, let me win one to give me a friggin' incubator, good lord. But, you know, I'll, I'll do the missions, we'll do some raids or whatever needs, like, knocking out. Um, and I'm, I'm happy with that. And now we've got Primal d uh, Ops, which is Primal Dominion. Uh, Primal Ops, which also is pretty uh, demanding, um, just because there's a lot of stuff I want to. Oh come on! There's a lot of stuff that I just want to crack on with in there. Um, I probably should have went for loads of attack here because the Pelicanimus is coming in next, and that's going to have literally no attack. I think even if it went for eight, it would probably do about 200 damage. So sod it. I'm just going to go for six. Yeah, you may go for your three, but colorful cheeks here will kill you. Now, how much attack? Oh, eight down. Oh, my God. Somebody call the cops. Get this guy under control. I think. I don't know. <laughs> oh, four. Woo. Woo. It might have done eight. I mean, 20, 200. It might have done 200. Yeah, let's go for another six. Yeah. Say yum yums. Beautiful. But we are getting ever closer to Dominion and also... A precipice! Oh, you know what it is? I can, <gasps> I can use my mouse because I've got a new thing for this. Should we, should we use the mouse? Heck yeah! Heck yeah! I completely forgot about this. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's so cool! Let's click. Yeah. <laughs> it's one of the few games that this actually works for. <gasps> we got caught! You can see my excitement on my fingers now. Woo! All right, let's let's go to battle. Oh, Jesus. Actually, can you scroll in this? Oh my god, you can. <laughs> I don't need to scroll just yet. Eh. Bleh. 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 All right, let's scroll now. There we go. One more scroll. Oh, yeah. That'll do. I need to set it up so that I don't have to click in. I, I, well, I know with Max, you used to just be able to tap. You could have a click in or tap. But I don't know what this one does. So, yeah. Now it'll be a lot easier. Because they'll definitely be able to kill my level 1 commons in one hit. Although if it was a Nozuda Ceratops, it wouldn't have. <laughs> Damn it. But what's good is that the Labba 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 will be able to. Thank God. Woo. I enjoy this. I do. It's a, it's a nice way to chat and like catch up and see how you guys are doing. Even though a lot of you click off already. <laughs> Actually, I don't know. I don't, I, that, that's the freaking Archelon tournament. That's what I need to check. I should have just went for one. The Archelon freaking tournament is... An enigma. 
I think somebody was saying after I made a video talking about that or mentioning the Archelon tournament when I was like, Archelon tournament, best ever turtle, 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 turtle. When I did that, just so that the, the um, algorithm would pick up the words turtle, turtle, look, amazing turtle. Uh, just doing it again there, hopefully to get this one go viral as well. Uh, <laughs> it just, like people were saying that they were getting suggested it in like the sidebar and stuff <laughs> up next. Oh, it's brilliant. I don't know. I, 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 you know what it is? There's something about YouTube and there's something about turtles that it does really well. I don't know why. I, I don't know whether the algorithm really likes turtles or whether there's some sort of weird fan base for turtles that I, ha I don't know about. But something about it, it gets lots of views. It was the tournament, like the Archelon tournament video got lots of views. The tournament getting even hauled by a Megalodon got lots of views. And I think I, I made like a Mosasaur one or... or you know, another mod in Jurassic World Evolution 2 of a turtle getting eaten uh, whole in the aquatic lagoon, whatever you want to call it. And that one got loads of views. It was a short and maybe that's why, but still it's just, oh, that, why? <laughs> oh, we got like, I was thinking, are we Valentine's Day? Oh, it's just easier just to use my finger. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> it's just ways. I can't be bothered. I'm faffing on with the keypad. Woohoo! Um, yeah, it's February, isn't it? February is Valentine's Day. So I think we're we're seeing more themes come through because we only ever really had Christmas when it came to uh, Jurassic World, the game when it first came out or something like that. It was like, oh, Christmas and Easter. But now we got, oh, it's 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 May or April, March, whatever time. Oh, it's the Sakura Blossom in Japan. Yeah, let's get the Sakura on the go. Oh, it's Chinese New Year. Let's get the Chinese New Year themes on the go. Just anything that like, any, like don't, don't, misconstrue it. They don't care about your holidays or celebrations. It's a, just another way to put on a microtransaction onto your event. <laughs> That's what it is. It's like, oh yeah, what? Oh, it's it's gold weekend in Japan or, or what's it? Um, you have the one, you have Valentine's Day and then you have the other one where the, the girls give guys gifts. Silver. Something like that. I don't know what it is. Silver Day or something like that. White Day. I think it's White Day. Um, so, oh, what, White Day? Well, or, or Singles Day. Was it the the 11th of November? Singles Day? Oh, a Single Day Pack? <laughs> Buy it now! Drown your sadness by giving us money! <laughs> oh, Lord! What has the world come to? Everything is a microtransaction. Everything is mercenary. Everything is just, it's all, that's what it is. I mean, am I being pessimistic? Maybe, just a touch. But also, nothing I've said is lies though, or at least, um, yes, it's speculation, but th there are products in the game that are those, <laughs> pretty much. It's hearsay. What 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 do people say when they don't want to be sued? Um, speculated or oh no, what's it called? It's called something. See, this is a live stream. I'd be like, okay, chat, what is it? And I would just wait there. Um, you you know what I mean. You know what I mean. I don't. I have no idea what I'm talking about. That's why you're here to listen to the ramblings of a gaming beaver. <laughs> That's me. Oh dear. Twenty three minutes so far. Wow. Oh, aren't we doing so well? Hopefully I can get this up. It is coming up to like six o'clock. <laughs> um, yeah, um, I've got only a couple of weeks left before things go crazy here. Um, I'm kind of wondering what else Dominion will do when it comes to promotions and stuff like that. Um, at this point, I've given up being invited to anything by Universal. If, if I'm if I'm honest unless if I lived in America then I think I would probably be invited to the premiere or something like that but I'm not American I'm not part of the Hollywood elite so therefore I don't it, it doesn't matter how many years I have promoted Jurassic content basically for free um, I, I universal like cool keep doing that. We're gonna go over to here, or go to here. We're gonna go over here to our, you know, our LA creators and amazing people. And uh, oh, do you, do you wanna, do you wanna like meet Chris Pratt and uh, do like a circuit junket? Or oh, how about the premiere, man? Which I bet you'd love that. Oh, oh, him, all the way in uh, across the pond. 
Ah, don't care about him. I don't, shh, don't tell him he's He just keeps making content. We don't have to give him or pay him anything. Just, just don't tell him, okay? Just don't, I mean, don't want him to feel bad. No, I don't want that. But just, just don't tell him, and, but you'll go the premiere. <laughs> like, maybe they don't mean it to feel like that, but it definitely comes across that way, a hundred percent. I'll tell you, that's how I feel. Um... But, you know, you can't have your cake and eat it. You can't be a man of the people while also selling out to the man. <laughs> oh, dear. And, and everything that I've achieved uh, on this channel and, you know, ba well, I guess it's basically all this channel, isn't it? Because, because of, you know, I mean, yes, I've, you know, I set up stuff, I've done things, I've worked hard and all that jazz, but everything that's came to me is because of an audience because of you guys because you could say if i didn't make the content and yes there's an argument there if i didn't make the content then you guys wouldn't be here but if i had made those videos and they had never um and of course a big big shout outs and big ups have to go to youtube of course because without a platform none of this would have happened um but if the audience wasn't there and i was uploading videos and they got like no views then i would have stopped simple as i uploaded um, a Jurassic Park Builder video for f just because I was like, well, I know I'm doing animation and that's a career that I can go down, but what if it doesn't work out? And if I'm going to be honest, there's a part of me that doesn't, you know, I, I, when it comes to animation, it's, it's a very... I like to be everything about it. Like, I like to do or to be in control of the voice acting. I like to be in control of the way the characters behave. I mean, you're animating them. You are the character. Um, and I didn't like the idea that, oh, well, you're just going to do this thing. And you're going to get told to do this. And, and you're part of a, you're one cog inside of a, of the machine. I liked being the machine. Uh, and, and I don't know. I, you know it's just this new, new wave of people, isn't it? They just want to have everything. <laughs> um, so I thought, you know, a lot of animators that are on YouTube and, and new grounds and stuff like that that I look up to are starting to try this Let's Play thing. Let's give that a shot. And I uploaded that one Jurassic Park Builder video and it did really, really well. Um, and I was like, what? Wait a minute. I spend weeks, if not months, working on an animation and it get it got like you know all all the views it did and yet i spent a day doing this let's play and it has within a you know a couple of days it has half of the total views that an animation i spent months on does what? that that can happen and i you know you look at let's plays and you think oh well you know back when you know 2015 when i started doing let's plays or 2014 um there was a lot less people around. Now it's very saturated, and I think it's a lot harder to gain an audience to get a foothold in. But even back then, it felt that way too. Um, obviously, the, you know, it, the YouTube and the whole gaming sphere has developed a lot more since then. Um, but it was, you know, I, I didn't expect to get, you know, a lot of people can look back and think, well, no one was doing it, or very few people were doing it. Of course you were going to get the views. But that was never a guarantee. And if it, you know, I, I feel like, I, I struck Lucky, and, like, there's only, like, I had no control over that. I decided to make the video, and all of a sudden, whether it was algorithm, or the audience was there, or how I presented myself, whatever it was, because I didn't know what I, oh, I wasted my goals. Oh, well, I didn't know what I was doing. I just did it, and, you know, a lot of people could have been presented with that opportunity, and then they ran with it. Or they stopped, it, you know, but because it was me and I was, you know, the way I am, I like to work on things and I'm very, you know, I have a lot of concentration and I don't know, I toot my own horn or whatever, but I work hard, um, you know, it managed to get to this state. And it was funny, not too long ago, um, somebody, I was explaining to someone what I did and that I did YouTube. I saw somebody on Twitter the other day, or like a while ago now, and what did they tweet? They tweeted something that I, was, I just couldn't get my head around. They were like, oh, I just made a new friend. How do I explain to them that I that I do YouTube? Or I'm a YouTuber. And I'm just like, who cares? Who cares? Just make a friend. <laughs> Why do you have to be like, oh, I've just made a friend. Oh, how do I tell them I do YouTube? 
How about they just ask you what you do and you say, I make content on YouTube. Why does that have to be a big thing? <laughs> but saying that, uh, you know, like that's oftentimes, I'll not, I'll not mention what I do because it's not the person I am. I've, I've said this for a long time that I don't introduce myself as, oh, I do YouTube. I, bit, 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 I have this many subscribers and yada, 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 because I've never been that way. And, and, you know, if people are that way, then fair enough. But it's, it's not who I am. Um, I didn't even know what I was talking about. I just, I just ran and raved. <laughs> uh, yes, so I, I've, I was talking to somebody while we were playing Warhammer. And said, oh, I love that sound effect. That's great. Just keep that going. Yep. Oh, I missed that one. How the hell did I do that? Um, so I was, I was talking to somebody and um, they, they did ask what I did. And I was like, oh, I, you know, actually the first time they mentioned it, I was like, oh, she's like, what, what do you do in your spare time? And I just pointed. I was like, oh, I just live here, you know, in the game's workshop. Like, get Warhammer store. I'm um, joking. But then she persisted. So I did say, oh, well, I do YouTube. Um, and then she pried more about, oh, so, oh, so what do you do? Yada, yada, yada. Um, and, of course, I think the thing that comes up, any time that I've, I talk to anybody, in quotations, in the real world, uh, you know, outside YouTube, basically, you know, that's the real world. And that's what my parents or my dad would always say to me. Be like, oh, you've never lived life in the real world. <laughs> What is going on with the sound? What? Stop! Hold on, is- Oh, no, no, I don't know what that is. Numbers. <laughs> don't know what that is. We've just opened numbers. But then somebody was next to her uh, when they were asking, Oh, so do you, you know, because uh, like I said, everyone who asks what I do, it eventually gets onto the topic of, can you make a living? It, you know, and for a lot of people, um, no. You just do YouTube because you enjoy it. You don't end up getting a following and it is what it is. Or a few people who do manage to make money and there's even fewer people that make a good living off it. Um, and I'm luckily one of those people that, you know, I've made as much money. I, I made more money than I know what to do with for a start. And I don't need to take on sponsorships. Like I don't, and I'm kind of glad for that because I don't like the idea of selling something fake to you or feeling that I'm, you know, oh, check out this new thing that I don't really care about. So I very rarely do sponsorships. Um, but I was like, when, when she asked me that question, do you make a living on YouTube or, 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 or is it easy? Something like that. Um, someone right next to her went, oh yeah, it's easy. <laughs> I was just there like, I mean, but I, you know, I didn't, I didn't go like, what are you talking about? No, it's not easy. Anyone who's done YouTube, uh, you know, that didn't get instant success um, will tell you that it's not, you know, it's not guaranteed. It's not easy. <laughs> this guy just came in and was like, oh yeah, loads of people do it. Da, da, da. I was just like, shut up, man. <laughs> you don't know what you're talking about. For a start, you don't do it. And the second, like, just completely belittle how much effort it takes. You know, for not just me, but everyone else out there. It's like, ah, yeah, but it's easy. It is easy to do it. Just don't even have to try. <laughs> oh, but anyway. Um, so, but yeah, back to back to that tweet. I was like, yeah, but just, you know, just, just don't. Like, I think the, the thing I'm coming to realize uh, more and more is how lucky I am with the friend group that I've got. So I think a lot of people in you, that do YouTube have YouTube friends. And, you know, that, that's all they do. They, they talk and live and breathe YouTube. So they'll upload the same videos or at the same time and try and work together to, you know, which is completely fine. Whereas me, I have my YouTube friends, but I've also got friends that I've had since primary school and high school that I meet up on the regular um, and generally like play games. Like that's the, the weirdest thing that after talking to a lot of people, um, they'll say, oh, I, you know, I don't know anyone that I knew in high school or that I was friends with in high school. And I think that's quite often the case. Uh, however, I think I got very lucky that the friends I made in high school all liked video games and all liked, you know, nerdy things in quotations, I guess. No, I don't, you know, only one of them likes Warhammer and that's the one I play with. Uh, <laughs> but we all have similar interests. You know, maybe one, you know, they, but we all have crossover and we all get on. And yeah, I, I would, that's why when I saw that question about, or that tweet about, oh, I'm a, you know, I just made a new friend. How do I tell them I do YouTube? Like, 
Does it make a difference? I, but maybe you don't have normal friends anymore. Maybe just all your friends are YouTubers. And maybe all you talk about is YouTube. So to them, they'd be like, boring. <laughs> I don't know. I know. It was just something that, just a thought that came across my head. Anyway, that was a rant for the better part of 10 minutes, I think that was. Where it started, I have no idea. But it ended right here. So let's get back to the game. <laughs> and I was like, that's the reason why I love doing this. Or oh, these videos in particular, anyway. It's just because they can just go off in these random tangents, and I quite enjoy it. And I think that's, like... Podcasts have become very popular recently, and that's because I think a lot of people that have uh, grown up with YouTube are now in jobs. Like when YouTube was first around, I was I was in high school, and obviously now if I was working a regular job, you know I'm 30 now. So a lot of people who were teenagers when YouTube first came, was on the up. And it's crazy that there'll be people watching this that won't know a life without YouTube, which is mental. <laughs> but when YouTube was first coming up, a lot of people that were, you know, um, creating content in there, hopefully you don't have a block. Ah, you buggy! I think I'm definitely lost. Oh, no, no, please don't have more than four. Okay, maybe we haven't lost, but it's, it's darn close. Um, I, even if it goes for four, I have to go yeah, I, I think I've lost this one. I think I might have lost this one. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <sighs> Sorry, I'm, I'm, I'm just going to have to concentrate here a little bit. Um, I need to go for three. Hopefully he blocks for one, which he did do. And now I'm going to be hit by three from this, which I think I've just survived. Yes. Oh, you beauty. Yes. 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 Oh, that was close. That was touch and go. Good God. What was it talking about? <laughs> God knows. Uh, yeah, a lot of podcasts are, are coming up. And I think that's because a lot of people who grew up with YouTube are now, like I said, late 20s, 30s. Um, and or at least, you know, we're on the ground, you know, as kids um, are now working regular jobs, nine to five jobs. And they can't just stick on a video while they work. But maybe some of them can stick on a podcast while they drive to work or while they're, you know, if they work at IT or something like that or on the computer, they can just have it on their headphones while they're still doing stuff. So I think that's probably why podcasts have become uh, such a big thing in recent years. I don't know what the next big thing is going to be for them. Wait, are we in Dominator League? I think we're in Dominator League, aren't we? Yes. Oh, we gotta be in Dominator League. Yeah. No, 100%. Have I... Uh, did I just not realize? I think I not... Did I just face this person's profile picture? I don't know. And I, <laughs> that's another thing. I've been mentioning, excuse me, for the longest time that, you know, maybe Ludia doesn't ha didn't have the rights to you. Oh God, excuse me again. <laughs> that one caught me by surprise. <laughs> Do not suppress a burp, it will come back. Um, uh, yeah, um, I, I said for the longest time that the reason why Ludia, I think, weren't using profile pictures and names was because they they were got you know into some trouble with doing that because you sign up to your facebook account and then it just nicks your profile picture and your name and they've got access to that those informations and they probably shouldn't you know there was a lot of um fuss not too long ago about personal information personal data in the uk anyway and how companies now can't keep record of your details at all uh, oh, I thought I killed him in one hit. Oh, no! Oh, no! But I don't know whether they fixed the issue. Maybe it was a glitch. Or maybe they're just giving me the middle finger. Uh, <laughs> but they're now putting pictures back in. Uh, which is quite interesting. After, you know, for the longest time I've been saying, that's what it is. I bet they were sued or something. Some uh, legislation was caught up on. And they were like, oh, God, we've got to uh, get rid of those. But no, I think it was just a glitch in the end. Ah, well. <laughs> oh, Lord. I'm gonna win. Yes. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this podcast because that's pretty much what it's been. I'd like to do videos where I just talk. Um, 
And I think that's what Twitch is good for and what live streaming is good for. It's just that you can just, I am in Dominator League. Oh, brilliant. Should we get to number one? I feel like we should get, nah, I think we're good. I think we, we, we did it. We've got to Dominator League. Now it's going to be a case of in two days time, I'm going to hop back on and be down in Bronze League and go, oh no, in Survivor. And I'm going to have to spend about two to five hours just playing it to unlock the new creature. Yay! <laughs> but anyway, guys, thank you again for all the support on not just Jurassic World the game, but every game I play. The last video I made was an indie horror, No Snake Hotel, that was six minutes. And even though in my YouTube statistics, it was like, this video is performing worse than normal. <laughs> or at least it said nine out of 10. To be fair though, the, the most recent videos I've been doing have all been unboxings. So they're pretty high end in comparison to, you know, an indie game that's not dinosaurs and is less than 10 minutes. Uh, so I'm not that fussed about it. Uh, but just thank you for supporting no matter what I do, whether it's IRL content, visiting a Sonic statue in Japan, or whether it's, uh, a, a let's play of Jurassic World the game episode 4328 uh, I really appreciate you sticking with me and hopefully I will still be here for a few more years to come before I get bored I don't know we'll see how it goes before YouTube gets sold out and I can no longer make content on games because it's copyright and Universal's like got you <laughs> anyway guys thank you so much and until next time I'll see you later oh bye bye